Hello everyone. Welcome to AE Graphics. Let's preview what we are going to create today. Let's get started. Open After Effects. Create a new comp. I am renaming it to Distort Text Animation. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution. 30 frames per second. 5 seconds long. Background color is black. And press OK. Now let's import our project files. Right click on project window. Navigate to import. And files. Select the files and open. You can download the files from the link in description. Create a new comp. I am renaming it to text. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Now let's type our text. Go to toolbar. And select the horizontal type tool. I am using maximum impact font. Font color is white. Font size 300. Make sure full bold and all caps is turned on. Let's type our text. Distort. Align it to the center. And the anchor points too. Now let's create another comp. I am renaming it to text plus saber. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Go to the text comp. Select the text. Go to edit. And select copy. Then switch to text plus saber comp. Go to edit and select paste. Turn off the text layer. Now let's create a new solid layer. Right click on timeline. Navigate to new. And select solid. I am renaming it to saber. Let the background color be anything. And press OK. Now go to effects and presets. And search for saber. Select the effect. Drag and drop it to the saber layer. Make sure you are in first frame. Let's adjust few settings. First open its render settings. And change the composite settings from black to transparent. Now open its customized core. Change the core type from saber to text layer. Also change the text layer to distort. Then change the glow color to white. Glow intensity to 100%. Glow bias to 0.25. Core size to 0.50. Change the start size to 50%. Start offset to 100%. And set a key frame on it. Then change the end size to 50%. Halo intensity 1000%. And halo size to 0%. Then change the core softness to 14. Open distortion. And open blow distortion. Change the distortion amount to 200. And set a key frame on it. Then change the composite from distortion to multiply. Enable the invert option. Then open core distortion. Change the distortion amount to 200 and set a key frame on it. Also change the distortion type from smoke to energy. Change the noise completion to 10. Noise aspect ratio to 10. Let's go to timeline. Move to 2 seconds. Make sure the saber layer is selected. And press U in keyboard to open the key frames. Change the start offset to 0%. Also change both the distortion values to zero. 
Now select all the keyframes. Right click on a keyframe. Navigate to Keyframe Assistant. And select Easy Ease. Now our distort animation is ready. Let's create texture for our text. Switch back to Project Window. Create a new comp. I am renaming it to Text plus Texture. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Go to Project Window. Select the text comp and place it here. Also select the texture JPG and place it below the text comp. Change the texture track mat to alpha mat. If you don't find this option, check between toggle switches and modes. Or right click here. Navigate to columns. And select modes. Now let's create a crack texture. Create a new comp. I am renaming it to Crack Plus Texture. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Now go to Project Window. Select the Text Plus Texture Comp. And place it here. Again go to Project Window. Select the Cracked Texture PNG. And place it above the Text Plus Texture Comp. Now select the Text Plus Texture Comp and change its track mat to Alpha Inverted Mat. Now it's time to make final arrangements. Let's switch back to our Distort Text Animation Comp. Go to Project Window. Select the Text Plus Saber Comp. And drag and place it here. Again go to Project Window. Select the Crack Plus Texture Comp. Drag and place it above the Text Plus Saber Comp. Now move to 2 seconds. Go to Effects and Presets. And search for Block Dissolve. Select the third effect. And drag and drop it to the Crack Plus Texture Comp. Now we have a Scanlines animation. Make sure the Crack Plus Texture Comp is selected. Press U and Keyboard to open the keyframes. Select both the keyframes. Right click on any keyframe. Navigate to Keyframe Assistant. And select Easy Ease. Now our basic animation is ready. Let's add a background to it. Right click on Timeline. Navigate to New. And select Solid. I am renaming it to Background. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Now select the background layer. And place it below all the comps. Then go to Effect and Presets. Search for Ramp or Gradient Ramp. Select the effect. And drag and drop it to the background layer. Let's adjust the colors. I am leaving Start Color as default black. And changing the end color to dark blue. You are free to use your own ideas and leaving the other settings as default. Now our background is ready. As a final step, let's add zoom effect. Right click on timeline, navigate to new, and select null object. I am renaming it to zoom. Align it to the center, and the anchor points too. Now move back to the first frame. Select all the three layers and parent it to the zoom layer. If you don't find this option, right click here, navigate to columns, and select parent. Make sure the zoom layer is selected and press S in keyboard to open the scale properties. Change the scale value to 150 and set a keyframe on it. Then move to 2 seconds and change the scale value to 100. Then go to the last frame and change the scale value to 105. Now select all the keyframes. Right click on any keyframe. Navigate to Keyframe Assistant and select Easy Ease. That's all, our distort text animation is ready. Let's RAM preview.
Hope you like this tutorial. Do subscribe our channel for more videos. Let's learn together. Meet you in the next video. Good day.